Okay, so this is interesting. Uh, I never thought about this, so we're gonna get into this. Why Martin Luther King is always in black and white photos? Yo, this is a it's a good eye opener and discussion. Watch this. Have you guys ever wondered why Martin Luther King Jr. is always portrayed in black and white in like history textbooks, even though color film and videos were available for like decades before then? It's to make it seem older. These photos could have come out of yesterday, but they always show it in black and white because it makes it feel like it was ages ago. But these are the photos that we get. We get black and white photos from the civil rights movement. Now it looks ancient. Now it's who even knows when this took place, you know? So who even true. knows a million years ago? And, and it feels like that. And it's crazy because my grandmother, who was not even that old, um, you know, God bless her. Um, but she, she, she was at the I, I, I Have a Dream speech. She was there. You see what I'm saying? And <laughs> But you look at a colored photograph of Martin Luther King Jr. Look at this. They're just outside in Washington. Like now he's just like now he's a dude. <laughs> now Martin Luther King isn't some ancient historical figure. Now he's a just a guy. He's just a guy right there. Yeah, it's true. You could, just, just... You could high five him, you know? <laughs> He's just a regular dude, you know what I'm saying? I mean, with major influence, but I feel like, I guess in my theory, and, and somebody else responded to it as well, I'm going to show that video as well. I think in my theory, the reason why they made it look ancient like that, because they want to make it seem like it was so far away ago that black people went through the civil rights movement. It wasn't that long ago. It really wasn't that long ago. I literally know people who went through that stuff. Today, they're still living. You see what I'm saying? And it was not it was not that long ago. But if they make it seem like it was so far ago, so far removed, then then blacks will be disconnected from our history. We'll be disconnected from the fact the fact that that's happening to blacks right now. It's not this. It's not that much of a difference. We still have a far ways to go as far as um, the civil rights that we that we should be experiencing as blacks. Um, and this, let's see what this guy has to say. I've been wanting to talk about this one for a while. This is something I touched on in a previous video, where I talked about how America isn't the country we've been taught it is in school. This last year really made me think about some stuff. Specifically, that civil rights really wasn't that long ago in American history. But in school, we're taught that it was. But when you think about it, a lot of the people that were alive then are still alive today. Facts. Let's just use my grandfather as an example. Now, to be clear, my grandfather's not a racist. But he's also not that old. He's in his 70s, and I don't know exactly how old, so we'll just call it 73. Which means he would have been born in like 48, late 40s. Which means when schools were starting to get desegregated, he was already in school. He would have been like six years old. And when Martin Luther King was assassinated, he would have been about 20. Mm. And color photography would have been popular for almost eight years by that point. But you almost never see colored pictures in the civil rights movement. Wait, he said color photography was around for about eight years at that point. Yeah, it was it was common, especially for those. For, those are professional photos. Those weren't like no little Polaroid, you know, it's a little snap. And then you, you wave it and then a picture come up. no. Those were actual professional photos. You see what I'm saying? Which is, you know, if it's professional, then obviously it's going to be, anyway. You know what I'm saying? If it's professional, then it's the best of the best. And of course it's going to be in color. And if it was already around for eight years, it's almost a decade. Of course they got color photos of Martin Luther King. They're literally going and making these, these photos black and white to make us seem like it was so far away ago so that we feel like, well, Time has changed. That was far away ago. We don't have to worry. We don't have to address these issues that's going on. It was far away ago. No, it happened just like two generations ago. The Max Martin Luther King Jr. Rosa Parks, they're always in black and white. It just makes you wonder if they intentionally want people to think it was longer ago than it really was. If that's the case, why would that be? Yeah, I mean, I wish you would answer the question, bro. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the answer just like you. You know what I'm saying? He looks like he's biracial actually to be honest hey man why you didn't give us the answer you probably don't know the answer i'm trying i'm hoping you will give us the answer you ain't got the answer you, you, 